Hello everyone. I just wanted to show you right now how do I process uh, a narrowband image. So in uh, in the recent months, I have was able to collect some data on Carina Nebula. This is very low to the horizon, about uh, or 15 to 25 degrees max. That's where it usually rises up on the south. Uh, I am basically shooting from Hyderabad. So I just wanted to show you how I process the narrowband image. So this is taken from a Red Cat 6, uh, 51 at 250 millimeters focal length, 2600 MC Pro, and L uh, Optolong L Extreme filter. And I just want to show you how I process it and uh, see if this helps anybody else. So let's open up the image. So this is the master. I'll share the same data for you, with you, everybody as well, so that you can try it on your own and see if you will be able to process it as well. So this is the image. Let's go and do a gradient extraction and remove the gradient first. So I'm using Grapex. And I mean, the choice is, choice is up to you guys, whichever want to use it but I use graphics. So next step I do is blur exterminator. I, before that, let's just look at the, uh, what's the S, this point spread function value, the FW HME eccentricity. So this is, should be at, two point seven two. The reason I'm finding that is the blur exterminator to put in the manual SPF diameter value. Then we do the SPF. This should clean up the stars. Should have round perfect stars now. Let's go. So my system is a Core i7. 12700K with 64 GB of RAM and I am accelerating with a 3060 GPU so it's GPU accelerator that's the reason you see blur exterminator working very hard and fast so we had some good details the wall is looking good let's do an SPCC so this was an L extreme filter let's process spectrometric spec photometric color calibration this should be done quickly perfect so now is stretching the image so usually uh, what I used to do is we have the histogram transformation or or you can also use the generalized hyperbolic stretch to find uh, to stretch the image but recently I found out a new uh, stretching function either you can use the uh, easy processing suit uh, suite and stretch it or use the steady astro statistical stretch and stretch it let's do the statistical stretch so this is again you can view the video uh, that City Astro has provided. I'll put that in the description for you for, for your reference for stretching the image. Let's go and go and do it. So this is curve boost, and I want to be it at 15. Let's do it at 15 and 15. Let's preview. Let's look okay. So let's execute. Now this is my initial stretch. The next step I'm going to do is apply the HDR function, the IHDR script from Zedia Astro. So this I'm going to go to low HDR, stretch intensity to be 10, and execute. This could take few minutes, sometimes. The reason I'm doing this method is I see 
it keeps the brighter regions uh, not blowing out but if i use uh, the histogram transformation i'm seeing sometimes the brighter regions are blowing up or the ghs as well i was able to blow up the brighter regions i'm using this stretch function so that i don't uh, i i'm not working on stretching the uh, image badly i get proper stretch and i'm able to keep the brighter regions under control and uh, get a better image out of it the next step is basically removing the stars and doing a narrowband normalization and getting the hoo palette correct so now this is one perfect image it's perfectly stretched you see it's not blowing out the core is not blowing out i can still see the uh, uh, the structure in the core so let's do this let's go ahead and to remove the stars once the stars are removed just rename them all right perfect the stars are gone so i just want to rename this as to easily to pixel process later on so this is easier to save so this is my base image now what i'm going to do right now is i see a lot of green noise green available here i can just do either do it or just do a normal normal not by normalization here so see that let's see if i can do an ha palette preserve the ha no do 3 of boost the o3 a bit highlight reduction brightness boost it a bit more that is it i think that's perfect let's go ahead and get that processed now i have the core i have the yellows let's go ahead and put in yellow mask so this is my yellow mask make blur it a bit Use the curves to add the red. That's all right. I want to get the background a bit adjusted and contrast. Okay with that. Let's remove the red. I want to be use the brilliance to get some contrast improvement. That looks perfect. The bit of sharpening. And that looks good enough. I'm sure YouTube compression would not show you what I'm looking at on my screen, but this is the best. I've seen so yet. I'm just getting these uh, processes so that I can improve the color a bit, improve the brilliance a bit, and also get the color, uh, the central core out. The channels. Okay, now this is done. Let's make these darker bands a bit pop out. So what I do is I go to Unity and Dark Structure Enhance. Put it to 50 amount, 0.5, 0.50. Should pop out. See that? The dark structure popped out. All right. Let's 
go ahead and do a noise iteration so let's just do it at 70% of noise keep a bit more detail Let's clean up. All right. Let's go ahead and add the stars back up. Let's clean up the stars a bit. Let's see if there is any green. Yeah, a lot of green. So remove the green. So look okay now. Let's do also remove green here. Looks okay. Now let's go back and add the stars back. Let's okay. The stars are in. I can call that an image. Thank you very much for everyone for watching this. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to learn PixInsight, just directly reach out to me. I am pretty much open to helping you out achieve the results that you are waiting to get from your equipment thank you very much again please like and subscribe bye bye